Alright y'all, so it's never really mattered to me what a deer scored, but I thought I'd go ahead and score Cody's deer. It's not going to be... Morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. We are locked and loaded and it is early, way before daylight. Anyway, well, it's kind of warmed up, south, southwest wind. Probably not gonna stay just too long this morning. We just gonna probably warm up. We'll just kind of see how they move. But anyway, went to the doctor late yesterday afternoon. Did some x rays. Says everything looked good. He said it's gonna probably take about two more months for this pain to go away because there was so much muscle in there that he had to uh, cut through and then sew back together and patch up. But he said everything looked good. He, it's like 21 or 2 days after the surgery, something like that, but anyway, he cleared me to climb trees, hunt out of my saddle, hang on. He said, just make sure you stay tied off. He said, I can't stand for you to fall. I said, well, I don't want to fall on either, but he told me I could shoot my bow. He said, just, you know, just do what you can do. Don't push it, and the way it hurts, I won't be able to push it, so... I don't think I'm quite ready for my bow or the hang on, but I may try. It'd be kind of hard for me to walk in and hang and hunt, but I might could ease in there and hang one the day before and hunt it the next day or something. I don't know. It still hurts pretty bad, but getting better by the day. So I'm just, just knowing that I'm cleared and I can use my own judgment to kind of ease in there. We don't want to hurt nothing. And he said we won't as long as we're... He said I can lift up to 30 pounds now, so that's pretty doggone good, 20-something days after surgery, so we don't want to push it, but we're going to, uh, just nice to know everything's getting better, so we'll cut this off, get these windows raised up, and wait on daylight. Boy, that's a beautiful sky this morning. surprised me still just barely light. I think that's one I've seen that I wanted to let go. The big old dark horn seven point. But I think he needs another year. We'll see if he'll come back across by being a little bit maybe. Just don't wanna mess up. We got plenty of time.
Man, that was a good hunt this morning. Man, they was walking. Bucks walking. Still warmed up now. That one deer that came out at daylight, I still ain't sure which one it is, but I think it's one I've seen several times, a big old seven point. God, he's just on the verge, but I really think I wanna get him out in a field where he's still, where I can see him good. But I still think he needs another year, boy. He may just be a seven point, but he'll be a stud, and boy, I like him dark horns. I don't think he's but four. Ah, he's a traveler. I've seen him several places. Got his picture all over his place. Hope he'll just hold in here tight. I'd really think he'd need another year. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Oh, we gotta hurry up and get something down. I get a little better where you can be tracking some blood. Get that bow out. We get that bow out. You want to get that bow out? Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's get to today's Bible first. We're on the word bless now. Uh, Genesis chapter 22, verse 17. Indeed, I will greatly bless you, and I will greatly multiply your seed as the stars of the heavens, and as the sand which is in which is on the seashore. And your seed shall possess the gate of their enemies. All right, y'all. So it's never really mattered to me what a deer scored, but I thought I'd go ahead and score Cody's deer. It's not going to be super high scoring, even though it is a dandy. Oh, and the, what we're really looking at is the age anyway, so, uh, to get him out of here, he's froze, I've had him in the freezer, I'm gonna rough him out real quick, I'm not gonna video the whole thing, but the main thing I like about this deer is his age and his mass, get all his mass, Boone and Crockett always goes by eight, so this one is five and two eighths. Mass right side. Five and two eighths. All right, I'm gonna go through this. I'll be right back. So on his right side, his total mass was 17 and four eighths. It carried out pretty good. Uh, the third one with all this was uh, five and eight, just an eighth off of uh, the base. This one here might be, this ba base here may be bigger. Got some mass. I really don't worry about they what they score. I just want to get them to the to the age, and then food will help. On whoa, whoa, five and. Five and six eighths. That's pretty good. Five and six eighths. All right, let me get this. So he had 16 and three eighths on his mass on the left side. Right side was 17 and four eighths, so not a lot of difference. What we gained here was this little palmated deal with this extra point, but uh, Good mass carried out. Total mass 33 and 7 eighths. That's pretty doggone good. All right, I'm fixing to measure his beams. All right, so his left beam was 19 and 2 eighths. Right beam 20 and 4 eighths. That's not too bad. We ain't in Iowa, Illinois. All right, let's get his greatest inside spread. I just always measure them like, like Boone and Crockett does. That's just kind of kind of simple. Uh, I kind of like the way Buckmasters, I think they do it to where they get everything they grew but the spread. I kind of like it. I always just go by gross score anyway. 16 and 4 eighths on the inside spread. Alright, this deer here has not just got a great, this is going to hurt him on his tines, but as far as score, but we ain't worried about that. This is just really Pretty rough, but I'm gonna try to do it halfway right. 
I usually measure them pretty low when I'm measuring. Uh oh, I don't forgot it's brow time. We got to start here. Got to go where it crosses. I'm gonna call it three and two eighths. I'll get his extras in a minute. Seven and two eighths. All right, let me get through with this. All right, so that uh, left side on his tines, 17 and four eighths. Uh, G123 and had a little one inch kicker on the back. Uh, so, this side will gain a little a little ground here if he'll be steel. Let me get this real quick. All right, so on the right side, we ended up on the tines lengths and all 25 and 3 eighths. We picked up some pretty good stuff here. Uh, so make sure I got everything and I'm gonna add it up real quick. All right, so here's what I come up with. 133, that's not too bad a deal. For anybody, Mississippi, Alabama, and what, what I'm saying is the score really don't matter. It's nice to know and nice to kill a 150, 160, but the main thing we're looking at is age. I'm not going to say this deer has completely topped out, but he is uh, mature, and Cody's 12 years old, and this 47-year-old would have dropped the hammer on him if I was by myself. That is a super nice deer. That's what we're looking for. Sure, we want to do those, uh, all those 150s and 60s and all, but we got to remember where we live. And this deer basically was raised on pine cones. Uh, and I kind of laugh about that. And y'all will hear me say that from time to time. But we're going to fix that. Y'all keep watching, hanging in there with us. Uh, a lot of plans of uh, doing stuff. And it's going to take time. I mean, it's going to take years. This deer here needs to be dropped on the ground. The genetics are here. I mean, we're sitting here with a 12 point, 200 pounds. The genetics are here. If I can continue, we can continue to get the food better, the food better. I got a few things up my sleeve we're going to do. Uh, in addition to what we're already doing, it, it won't surprise me that in maybe quicker than I think, but in a five year period that this same deer right here could add 20 inches easy and be that 150, 153. I believe that. I believe I've been around these deer long enough. I just really, really believe that uh, we're fitting to make this happen. I'm, I'm not going to quit till we do it, but this, I would shoot this, even if we don't do it, I'd shoot this deer all day long as mature as he is, free range. Um, all day long just he's mature uh would he add some at six years old seven years old i ain't got his jawbone out to kind of tell yet that's really that jawbone stuff is really hard to do um uh, but just watching the video y'all watch the video where cody killed him he's just he's a mature deer um uh, wouldn't take nothing for him i'm proud just as much or more proud of him as cody and then just just glad y'all gonna be a part of this and watch us make this happen this is this is gonna be a big deal this right here is already a huge step and uh i'm always shooting for better and we're gonna do better but anyway about to call it on this video appreciate y'all watching out of here